the next question here it is given design the diameter of solid circular shaft to transmit 50 kilowatts power at 100 rpm full stop maximum torque is likely to exceed mean torque by 25 percent then maximum permissible shear stress is 60 megapascal also calculate angle of twist for a length of 2 meter take capital G as 80 GPA now this is the question which we have in front of us whatever is given here I will write that in the form of data first so let us start with this question here it is given that we have to design the diameter of solid circular shaft so I'll write capital D as the diameter of solid circular shaft to transmit 50 kilowatts power power is given Fifty kilowatts, so it is fifty into ten raised to three watts at hundred RPM. Maximum torque is likely to exceed mean torque by twenty five percent. So this relation is maximum torque is likely to exceed. So it is one point two five times of mean torque. Since they have given that it is 25% more, so it is 1.25 times of mean torque. Even the question they would have mentioned that it is 30% more, so this would have been 1.3 into T mean. Next, maximum permissible shear stress is 60 Fs value. Here they are saying the first part is we have to calculate the diameter. And also they are saying to calculate the angle of twist. So the next thing which we have to calculate is theta. For a length of 2 meter. Capital L is 2 meter. So I have to convert it into mm. Take capital G. Modulus of rigidity. As 80 GPA. This I will convert it. It becomes 80 into 10 raised to 3 newton per millimeter square so this is the question which we have now let us try to find the solution for this as power is given i will start from the equation i'll say that solution since power transmitted by a solid shaft is given by power is equal to 2 pi nt upon 60 here I will draw the cross section of solid circular shaft therefore power is given in the question as 50 into 10 raised to 3 watts RPM is 100 therefore T will be equal to 50 10 raised to 3 into 60 divided by 2 pi into 100 so from this I will be getting the torque value as 4.77 into 10 raised to 3 Newton meter now this torque which I am getting from the power formula that is nothing but mean torque so I'll say that therefore T mean is equal to 4.77 into 10 raised to 3 Newton meter now they have given us the relation that since T max is 1.25 times of T mean that is 25% more so therefore I will say that T max is equal to 1.5 times of T mean the value is 4.77 into 10 raised to 3 therefore 
the T max value it comes out to be 5.97 into 10 raised to 3 Newton meter which I will convert it to Newton mm that is 5.97 into 10 raised to 6 Newton millimeter now this is the value of torque which I will use in the problem as we see in this case the first question is to calculate the diameter and they have given shear stress so I will use the strength criteria by strength criteria the formula is T by J is equal to Fs by R therefore T it is 5.97 into 10 raised to 6 J for solid shaft it is pi by 32 D raised to 4 Fs is given in the question as 60 Newton per mm square R is D by 2 now here I can cancel one diameter from this side and one from the other side this is 2 and this becomes 16 so I'll keep d cube on one side that is therefore d cube will be equal to 5.97 into 10 raised to 6 divided by pi by 16 into 60 so if I calculate here I would be getting my answer of diameter as it comes out to be 79.72 millimeter this is my first answer now as we look into this question they are even telling us to calculate the value of theta so if theta is asked I, I have to use the rigidity criteria I'll say that since by rigidity criteria T by J is equal to G theta by L T value that was 5.97 into 10 raised to 6 the value of J it was pi by 32 D raised to 4 g that is modulus of rigidity it is 80 into 10 raised to 3 theta is what we have to calculate and the length of the shaft given here it is 2000 so here as we see theta has been asked this diameter we have calculated just now so i'll keep theta on one side and shift all the terms on the other side so here I have theta is equal to 5.97 into 10 raised to 6. This 2000 would be multiplied in the numerator divided by pi by 32 diameter which we have got just now that is 79.72 raised to the power 4. Then this would be multiplied by 80 into 10 raised to 3 so from this if I calculate theta value comes out to be 0 0.0376 radians and this is my second answer so here I have solved this question that is we have calculated the diameter of shaft and also the angle of twist with this we complete the problem